Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Arcade Hunter, uh, this time filmed at the Dave & Buster's in Tempe at the Tempe Marketplace. This was filmed on July 29th, 2016, and I love this place. I love the arcade sounds here. It sounds like an old school arcade. And uh, the first game that we played that I was excited to see was House of the Dead 3, which was released in 2002, so this is a little bit of an older shooter, and uh, this is my wife and daughter playing. Uh, this is a great game. Instead of handguns in this one, it's actually shotguns, and so you use the, uh, you cock the shotguns to reload instead of shooting off the screen, which is pretty cool. And they're actually doing fairly decent. Something I noticed about this uh, Dave & Buster's location is there was a lot of shooting games here. You can see there's a Ghost Squad right next to us. There was a few different Time Crisis games, uh, Rambo, uh, the Jurassic Park environmental arcade shooter where you sit in the cabinet, lots of different shooting games. So uh, Dave & Buster's is definitely the place to go if you like shooting games and like gun type games. Now right next to us is the Star Wars uh, Battle Pod game, which is new, and that's another one where you sit down in it and it has a big domed screen. I did play that, but it's pretty much impossible to film, so... <laughs> but it's, it's definitely worth playing. It's, it's fun. Reload! Now next we have... Galaga Assault, and this is actually a ticket game, but you play like an updated version of Galaga and win tickets, and this was really fun. This is me playing. I played this a few times and actually won quite a few tickets off of it. You basically get to play one level, and then there's a second level that you play with a boss ship that you fight that's really difficult. You'll see that in a minute. You have to shoot through all these shields and destroy the mothership, and it's really hard. It gets really distracting. There's lots of stuff going on. Um, I did actually hit it for 200 tickets one time. Definitely a fun game, especially for a ticket redemption game. Now here we have the Luigi's Mansion arcade game, and uh, this is my daughter and I playing. This is another one where you sit down, and it's a, it's a light gun style game, but you actually have Luigi's Vacuum. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun, and it's definitely a cool arcade cabinet, but we had a really difficult time playing it. I don't know if part of it was because the guns weren't working very well. Um, we were also having, actually having a hard time figuring out how to play it. There's a lot of different stuff going on, and it's throwing a lot of directions at you at once. So uh, it was a little confusing. The control scheme definitely was not intuitive, if you can imagine that on a, on a light gun type game. Definitely would like to try it again. Next we have a uh, the Fast and the Furious game called the Fast and the Furious uh, Super Bikes, and I have never, never seen this one before. I've seen a lot of the, the Fast and Furious car driving games, but I hadn't seen a motorcycle one before, and this was kind of awesome. It, uh, it plays very similar to like Super Hang On and those older games where you sit on the motorcycle and lean to steer. Unfortunately, my daughter does not weigh a lot, so she had a little bit of a hard time actually getting the bike to steer, but it still was definitely a cool game, and it's actually got two... Uh, cabinets linked up so you can play uh, two-player competitive at the same time.
I would definitely give this game a play if you um, happen to come across it. I've, like I said, never seen it before except for this day of Investors. Here we have uh, Super Mario Kart GP DX, which is the third uh, Mario Kart arcade game. And this, this game, the series of games, was uh, developed by Namco in cooperation with Nintendo, so you'll see some Namco characters included with the Nintendo characters as selectable players. And uh, this is a great arcade game, tons of fun. I mean, Mario Kart's fun on its own, and the arcade take on it is a blast. And as you can see, you get, you get to take your picture with different... Um, masks and then those will actually display over your car as you're driving around. They had uh, four systems here linked up so there's actually a four player race going on here right now. Now here what it does is it kind of um, plays a roulette game and this is how you s uh, select the four different items that you're able to get out of the question mark boxes. I was kicking myself because they have this four-player uh, Mario Kart uh, GP DX game, but they also actually have an eight-player Daytona USA setup that I really wanted to play, and I forgot to get back over there and play it. Uh, you don't see eight-player Daytona USA very often, but they do have that at the Dave & Buster's in Tempe. faces over their cars as they drive around. Now pretty much everything about this game is different than your console versions of the Mario Kart games. The weapons are different, uh, the tracks are different. Um, this version, Mario Kart uh, GPDX, like I said, is the third version, so this one added some of the features from Mario Kart uh, 7, like different, you know, going underwater and stuff like that, gliders. This game is so much fun to play, and Dave and & Buster's has a full bar, so if you go here uh, with a group of adults and have a few drinks and then play Mario Kart, uh, GPDX against each other. That is tons of fun. Uh, we've been here before and done that, and it was a blast. Dave and Buster's is definitely a fun place to either take your family or to go with um, just friends with no kids and, and have a little bit of a more adult themed fun time. And like I said, they do have a ton of games at Dave and Buster's. I, I couldn't even show you half the games they have. It is a huge arcade, which is nice to see. Uh, especially since arcades had been dying for a long time. And it's nice to see newer arcade games being developed and uh, s some of them being, you know, being just as fun as the old ones. The one thing I do miss though is Dave & Buster's uses these game cards and I miss putting coins in the arcade games. Congratulations to my wife who came in first place. Hey, thanks for checking out episode 2 of Arcade Hunter. 
If you got a few minutes, why don't you check out episode one there? Or if you're in the mood for some other arcade-related videos, you can check out the uh, two Neo Geo MVS reviews I have there. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons.